Okay, guys, I'm here today with Kyle the Bull Sliman. Huge honor for me. Did you pronounce it right, Kyle? Yes, sir. <laughs> Great. So, uh, guys, uh, Kyle is one of the main instructors at BGJ Globe Trotters, and he's also a Jiu Jitsu instructor in Toronto, Canada. And it's first time that he's here. Super happy to have him here. And today he's going to show us here two. Can you can call that knee shields? Because uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it looks I, like knee shields, but it's not exactly yeah, but it's not. knee I call, shields. Right? I call it the, the sleeve guard, because my last name is Sleeve, so Got I call it. it the sleeve guard because it's not, it's not uh, a knee butterfly shields. and it's not a knee shield. Yeah, yeah. It's no, a sleeve guard. And I love it because, guys, you see, it's very weird and very efficient because it looks like the knee shields, looks like open guard too, but it's not. And, uh, and he just showed me, he did that in the competition and it was beautiful. So let's do it. All right. Okay, so when I start off in my knee shield position here, the sleeve guard, I have a knee shield on the bottom and I also have a knee shield on top. I'm always controlling the shoulder, okay? And my laces of my foot are in the back of the shoulder so I can push and pull if need be, okay? The reason why I have this across here because this is gonna be my knee on belly. Yeah, so guys, pay attention here. This is not like the, the regular knee shield. It's kind of like a half guard with the shields, right? Right. What Kyle does here, it's not a half guard at all. It's just like almost like an open guard, right? Yeah. With the knee shield. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so now that I'm here, there's two scenarios. A, he's going to dictate the sweep for me, or B, I have to engage myself. Okay? So if I if he doesn't attack the, the pass, then I just push my hip open to get that reaction. Yep. Okay? Now, so I have the knee shield, I have the sleeve, and I want this pant grip. Okay, so the second he touches my knee to think that he's going to start passing, boom, right here. And I got this so he can't roll away. And if he does start to roll away, I loop this around his head. Right, that's incredible. And then I'm here. That's awesome. And look, okay, in the tournament that you showed me on your phone, you hit the arm bar. The arm right? bar, yeah. Can you do that with the yeah. arm bar? I use this a lot. Pretty and I always guys. attack the arm. Same scenario here, okay? This time, Bernardo's not gonna start smash passing and I'm gonna dictate it. So I'm here and I use my hip. So I push away. As he comes back, I go here and I rip up on that arm. Man, that's incredible. And I got that leg still so he can't hitchhike. That's incredible. And it's crazy fast. It's like one second move, you get the sweep and the arm bar. I sat at home and I thought to myself, what are my best sweeps and what are my best submissions? How am I gonna chain the two together how am I going to hit that armbar before your back hits the mat? Yeah. Because uh, as soon as your back hits the mat, you're looking to re-guard. Yeah. You're not looking to defend the arm. I agree. I agree. And the armbar is just there. It's right there. Yeah. Oh, Kai, okay. what was that tournament that you hit? Um, you I've mean? hit it in a bunch of tournaments. Yeah. Um, that one was the GTA Classic, I think. In Canada? In Canada, in Canada yes. GTA oh, Greater yeah. Toronto Area. Yeah, no, man, that was beautiful. That was Thank beautiful. you. Thank you. And it would show on another one as well. Right? Yeah, yeah. So it's the same idea. It's just from the, the same uh, sleeve guard knee shield here, right? So this time, my first sweep isn't working. So I'm just going to hip out, and I'm going to get a lasso, except he tucks his elbow, not letting it happen, which everybody does. So I'm just going to tuck my foot right in the opposite thigh, okay? As soon as I tuck in the opposite thigh... I'm going to switch grips and I'm going to sit up and attach my, my pack to his shoulder, getting a good deep grip. As I fall back, I'm going to elevate him and sweep right to this armor. Man, beautiful, 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 beautiful. So kind of the same concept, but now you can do that from like almost like a lasso guard. I want you to think that you're defending the lasso and it goes actually right into what I want. Got it. One more time. Okay. Last one. Well, so we're here. Time. Yeah, so I'm start the lasso. You tuck. tuck boom. Hand. Hook it in the, this thigh. Yep. Switch grips and sit up. And as I fall back with the momentum, I elevate, circle. Boom. Man, there incredible. There or I can just circle this leg out and come to side control and begin to connect everything. To guys, connect. Yeah, this is this is the other video, guys. I just shot a, another video with Kai where he showed exactly the side control attack that he was just showing out. So, and Kai, you were just about, you're here at BGJ Fanatics HQ, and you were just about to shoot an entire instructional about this Lima guard. Right? And all four instructionals that I'm gonna do, they all work together. 
just, just like that. That sweep worked into the other instructional and then it works into the other instructional so they all connect they're all connect man that's incredible so guys make sure to check that out it's going to be at bgfanatics.com maybe by the time you're watching it's already there so thanks so much Kyle. thank you sir thank appreciate you. it professor appreciate it please help me out to grow my youtube channel just click subscribe and to watch more videos just click under see more videos i hope you enjoyed BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.